a new discovery. Okay, it's a good thing I have a brand new extra one of these. What came with my other, or no, one of my kits. Yeah, I think I ordered it when I got it with this one. Other. This one's brand new because I lost my last brew black probe somewhere. Uh, then this is my second or my third one, I can't remember. But this is what I discovered. Remember when I, in the last video, it was around 2,000, 3,000, and it wasn't moving from there. And just by chance, I just decided to tweak on turning the seals a little bit and actually just touching them, it dived all the way down to 700 microns. And it started pulling 700, 800, but then it went back up and then moving it around. So, has my problem been with one of the seals on this? Now I know when hooked straight to this line, I went down to an excluding any rubber gasket because these have little rubber gaskets inside of them. And when I went to a metal flare to the metal flare on there, it went down to 26 microns located at the end of this copper line. And, um, I think I'm gonna change this. I would like to eliminate it all together and make another little copper like this and I could flare because this has a metal flare. This has a steel metal flare at the end of this gauge. I could go metal flare to metal flare and then the bottom part metal flare to metal flare and test that way but I really don't feel like doing that right now. And I'm gonna bank on, uh, which I shouldn't, never assume because you remember what you're uh, English teacher taught you and maybe some others your science and physics teacher taught you uh, they would all write the word assume making an ass out of me and you if you assume so I'm not gonna assume this is better but I'm just gonna look at 144 now the only thing that has been reused repeatedly in all these tests has been this well of course in this too but I, I metal flared this to the end of this gauge and got it down to 26 do I have an imperfection a leak in the rubber and the manufacturer the developer of this micron gauge here I actually talked to him on the phone once before when I was having an issue and he told me not to use nylog at the ends of these fittings up in here, down here. You absolutely don't want to get refrigerant, refrigerant oil, and refrigerant messes with your readings. Uh, getting oils up there, keep it as far away. So I'm gonna bank and I'm gonna listen to him and I'm gonna put on this new one without putting any nylog on it. And I, I've been keeping with that because I don't want to contaminate one of these and mess, mess it up. But let's do that right now. I'm going to change this out. Let's see what happens. <laughs> 